In this century, we can solve climate change. We can stop air pollution. We must also one day solve the loss of non-renewable fuels which dominate our world. Land-based renewable energy suffers from location limitations and intermittency. Nuclear fission is dangerous and unpopular, and fusion is an unproven technology. But outside the Earth's atmosphere, solar power is always available. If only we could harvest that. In 1969, Peter Glazer invented space solar power. Unfortunately, it was too soon. Although the technologies existed, none had matured to be affordable to deploy. Valery Danko is a Ukrainian journalist on a mission. Valery wants to discover if space solar power is a solution to the world's future energy needs and climate change. To learn how private companies in the UK work with space-based solar power, I traveled to Oxford Space Systems, the fastest growing company in the UK which develops the most innovative space technology in the world. They teach me how to do it. Yes, if you take hold of these well, yeah, two points okay, there, and if you push together and pull up, you'll see the structure wants to deploy out. Will the fossil fuel lobbyists prevent this technology becoming a global triumph? Or will private enterprise and the people win the day? Over 600 million people in Africa have no electricity. Children walk many miles to get water because there are no pumps to pipe it to their homes. As Africa's population grows, will it be able to cope with new energy demands? Can space solar power be the future? Will we use it as a bridge towards a space-based civilization? Join Valerie Danko on the journey of a lifetime.